What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com if you would like your content to be shown here as a well. One big thing that I want from you guys is make sure if you are in the bordering states of Texas that you need to check your truck uh, because uh, just recently, this is from Love's surveillance footage out in Texas. Uh, there was a situation where it looked like two truck drivers were getting into a argument and a fight. They realized that it was a truck driver that was fueling up his truck and there was a person hiding in his truck behind the trailer where the catwalk was. And when he went to get fuel, that's when that person ran off and then that's when the argument happened. So, you know, uh, make sure that you do your pre-trips and post-trips, especially if you're in bordering states. Last night, we got to break this story. Omaha jury rules in favor of deaf truck driver. I'll put links down below. A Warner driver-to-be went to Roadmasters, got his CDL, and when he tried to apply for Warner, they didn't give him a job because... He was deaf. That's what the jury came out with and ruled with. So now it looks like Warner will owe this man $36 million. Of course, uh, Warner's going to try and appeal this, but it's just another lawsuit, a case that Warner has lost. People are asking, you know, how does a driver pass his DOT physical? And he actually got an exemption for being deaf. So, you know, everything pans out and they should have hired the driver. Now, the truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about it? Do you think that uh, you shouldn't be a truck driver if you have a hearing disability? Really sad to talk about this news here. Out in Rochester, New York, a truck driver from Wayne County is dead after being hit by an alleged drunk driver one o'clock in the morning. Uh, basically, what happened was uh, he was having mechanic problems and from there, he actually went out to check on it. And that's when a four wheeler hit him and, you know, he passed away. So we just want to say uh, rest in peace to this driver. Definitely unfortunate events and a lot of bad luck here, but prayers to the family and so sad that this happened. So in the automotive market, you know, there's big news today. Uh, for all the car haulers out there, tell me what you say about this company because I read comments and reviews and people are saying that uh, Assertus is a horrible company to work with. Uh, I haven't worked with them myself, but they just acquired uh, vehicle transporter RCG Logistics. Uh, so um, mother truckers that are in the car hauling game. What do you think about this tech company? Do you think they're good for the car hauler game or do they suck? You know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about that. Now, a fellow mother trucker uh, sent this in and writes in the title, Importance of Patience, Sunflower Contracting. You know, it says here, the importance of patience literally can save your life just another day at work. Uh, when you see this video right here, it's just a four-wheeler being so impatient, uh, trying to get ahead just by a couple car lengths. It goes in the other lane and almost goes head on with a whole bunch of cars. The importance of patience is key, right? Thank you, Sunflower Contracting. I appreciate you for sending in this clip. We definitely have a really sad news here and it has to deal with a truck driver making the rest of us look bad because he was under the influence. And it says here, Parker police say semi truck driver was impaired when he crashed into multiple cars, killing one person at a busy intersection Sunday morning. Authorities say that the driver Karan Singh was headed north on California Avenue when he crashed into three cars, stopped for a red light near Riverside Drive. The crash sent vehicles flying into the parking lot of a nearby Terrible Herbis gas station. Now, at that point, the truck and one of the vehicles went up in flames. Detectives say another vehicle crashed into the boulder before landing on its roof. A video posted on social media appeared to show the truck going at a high speed rate. You know, we'll show the video of that there, you know. Uh, 
Uh, now, one person was confirmed dead at the scene. Singh tried to run away from the scene. So Singh tried to run away, but they later on caught him and he was arrested. And so all you got to say here about the truckers is, you know, uh, definitely drinking and driving, 100%, not worth it. And it, it's just a bad apple for the rest of us. You know, RIP uh, to uh, the family, prayers to all. But yeah, definitely a situation that is just sucks to hear. But I just want to share it because, you know, everybody's sending links to this and want us to talk about it today. Now, here are some truck drivers fighting the good fight. It says here, Washington truckers taking on the Department of Ecology to court over fuel surcharges. So there's been a fuel surcharge in Washington that truck drivers have been paying that they should have been exempted on. And so now these truckers are fighting for the rest of the drivers in the state. You know, good for you guys. I'll give you guys an update on this to see what happens. But, you know, here's a small video clip showing that here. All dealing with some of the highest gas prices in the country, but truck drivers here in Washington are being hit with an extra charge they legally don't have to pay. Every time Brad DeCup fuels up his semi, he hears the same thing in his head. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. More money out of my pocket, more money out of everybody else's pocket. Brad is an independent oh, truck driver. His semi takes 270 gallons of diesel to fill up. Went to Oregon, came back up. I put 215 gallons in at 509 a gallon cost me $1,086. A sizable chunk of that is a surcharge for the Department of Ecology's Climate Commitment Act. But when that law was passed two years ago, the agricultural sector was exempted. That includes truckers. Now though, Brad and his fellow truckers are still paying it. He's had to raise his rates. If I don't, um, I'm eating all of that and then um, I'm not making as much money and eventually um, I go under. A lot of craziness happening in the trucking industry especially on a Tuesday. And so if you'd like to be on the show or you'd like to share some information, please email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much.